Hi, my name is Anne Marie, and I'm a librarian at the Gorgas Library. In this video, I'm going to talk about primary, secondary, and tertiary sources. So what's the difference between these three types of sources? It varies according to discipline, but basically the distinction has to do with how close the author was to the event in question. Primary sources are original documents, data, and artifacts produced at the time in question. These can include first-hand accounts of events from people who experienced them, such as diary entries, interview transcripts, or eyewitness news reports. Newspapers, photographs, letters, autobiographies, government records, business records, and even social media posts would be considered primary sources. In the natural and social sciences, examples of primary sources include experimental research reports, survey data, or clinical trials. Other tangible works, such as a piece of artwork, a piece of sheet music, clothing, tools, religious texts, or any other items that you would expect to find in a museum, are also considered primary sources. A secondary source is one that has been created after the event has passed. It includes secondhand information intended to summarize, analyze, interpret, or comment on one or more primary sources. For example, a historian might analyze and interpret primary sources to write a book that analyzes an event, or a biography that analyzes an historical figure. Or, a literary scholar can offer new interpretations of an original text. Or, a medical researcher may analyze multiple experimental research articles for a scholarly literature review. Secondary sources will also often reference other secondary sources. We can also add a third level for works that compile or summarize multiple secondary and primary sources. These are called tertiary sources, or third-hand information. They are also referred to as reference sources. Examples like encyclopedias, textbooks, subject bibliographies, and even Wikipedia will generally fall into this category. These are great sources for finding general background information, timelines, basic terminology, or for finding other sources. However, in most cases, these types of sources are not acceptable to cite for an academic research project. Well, that's all for now. As always, if you have any questions, contact us or visit ask.lib.ua.edu to ask a librarian. Thanks for watching and roll tide.